I'm so glad you arrived. You have made it to my Fun Toys channel. Hello, I'm so glad you arrived. You have made it to my Fun Toys channel. I'm so excited you're here. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to follow all the fun. And let's get started now. Hello guys, how are you doing? Um, do you like some of the images look? So I'm just going to be leaving it for you. So it's Bears and Blossoms. I really enjoyed it. I thought it looked really pretty. So I'm just going to read it. I am late for the week. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and read. It says, Blossom Shimmer in the Springtime. Breeze with the bears. Enjoy the flower trees. It's super cute. Um, with the bears. It says, yes, yellow and fussy. Bring a basket in. I'll pick Nick under blossoms. And can't wait to be in. Oh my gosh, so cute. Says Floppy Bear carries her drum to play music and fun on a picnic day. Says bring kites. They called out to Calico. They'll fly high when we let them go. So cute. Says, Big Brown Bear packs a blanket to spread. They'll sit on the blossoms with honey and bread. I enjoy how the pictures look I think they look really pretty. It says, Ah, the trails. When it's among the shimmer trees. Super cute. A floppy room pom pom with the fussy bees. I love the side of this. Super cute. It says Big Bear chooses a breeze sea spot. You can't wait to taste the honey. They bought. Super cute. It says he slices some bread and flatters on honey. Fussy licks her lips. She likes it running. Papa Bear. It says before the Big Bear can taste his bread, strong wind blows it to the ground instead. He hasn't yet had a single bite. When the small bear calls, the wind just right. They carry the kite away from the trees. It's whoosh. Blustery winds take over the breeze. Cute. The strong wind catches each kite like a sail, which the first flies up with floppy for a tail. Whoosh, whoosh. Mm, strong wind blows up. They go, yellow bear. Fussy and Calico. Calico laughs from his great kite. Top of the trees are the pretty sides. Oh no, the wind dies down. The kites start up to drop. The bear reaches up as the breeze stops. The small bear swoops and sails through the air. They plummet through blossoms right onto the bear. Big bear. Cute, cute, cute. It says, we, well, the five bears laugh about taking flight. Their pig honey tastes just right. You made it to the end of the book. Uh, more books with bears. Bears in a birthday. Bears in a bin. Bears in a bed. Bears in a bath. Bears in the snow. Bears in a chair. Thank you so much for staying tuned. I would like the book. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow all the fun. And we're going to be moving on to our next video. This is, no, this is the next book that we're going to be reading. Um, 
it's really cute uh the pictures i love me some of them already kind of like there's some pretty books so we're gonna continue with it i really enjoy using art that this is it says here's a bright red sled on the snow day where are the bears to come out and play this is gonna be this week's video it is gonna be a long video i always do a new long video while i update my website um so stay tuned for that as it gets updated i will be doing more kind of things Bobby grabs a cab to keep warm outside at 10 thousand uh, I'll be letting Clary get there first. I did have um press. Um so that's just gonna be something that gets the addition that we'll see on my Instagram if uh, it's gonna be a dog or a cat. I had a dog and a cat for a while, so um, I don't mind a cat. But like that's gonna be something I just specify. Maybe I didn't specify there, so I do have a little bit of more time to um, update all the things. As I'm trying to do everything um, one day at a time, so we're just gonna go ahead and start reading to finish this book. And this will be this week's video. I'll be at that point um, when I finish all my updates, depending or not depending if some of them will actually get small videos. Oh, I'm gonna start doing long videos. And then, when I have one, two, three creations, I'm going to start doing, updating them individually. And then doing a long video and then start updating those individually. If I have four videos, it's going to be four. Don't get a lot of videos in a, a lot of books or on the long videos because they take a long, um, they take more time than what I actually think. So I always do like six, nine, uh, in a video, sometimes it's two or three. Sometimes it's four. I don't really pay that much attention, but sometimes they're really short books. So stay tuned for that. Um, I thought individually maybe you like some of the books more than others. I think that's fine. It says, Fussy Pulls on Mittens for a fast sled ride. And this is where I left off last time. But I didn't like how they looked when I edited. I just didn't look pretty, so I don't. When I'm reading this, it says, Oops, Coleco, this is scarf, flies like a kite. This is super cute. It says, Jello ties his boots on. Tight. Tying them too fast, too strong. It says, The four small bears swerve into the snow. Shout, Big brown bear, come on, let's go. Let's Go Big Brown Bear. Okay, so this Big Brown Bear carries his sled for small bears. Capper. And... Super cute. It says, mm, the sled is small, just who can go. First floppy steps down, look we go. picture for my Instagram post. Two more zoom down, then a big brown bear is hard to take turns, but they want to be fair. Let's squeeze close, let's go go if we make room for bears can go. They pack together in a furry ball with the small sled carry them all. Oh. Now yellow falls off on the top of the hill. Floppy Bear is the next to slip. Mm, super cute. Then Fussy Bear tumbles into the snow. Well, Calico is the last to go. The bear sees each little bear fall. What can they use to carry them all? So as he gets an idea and suddenly flop. It says big, it says big brown bear does a belly flop. 
It's kind of on because they won't be fun. I'll be the sled. Come on, everyone. We they scramble aboard and down they go. Yellow fussy fluffs and click them. They click with joy. That hill is safe. They land on the bottom. It's a laughing heap. More bears slide sled rides. Keeps them laughing until it's that hot chocolate. They all smell. It says, alright, time for hot chocolate. More books with bears, bears in a birthday, bears in a bed, bears in bed, bears in a bath. Bears in a chair, this is super cute. The light turned on, so we're gonna be doing it with the light. It says, Who needs a hug? This is what this book is called. Um, I really don't like how my hand looks on the book. Um, you know what I mean? Who needs a hug? I did put this on my Instagram. I feel like I really don't know what the book's saying when I look at it. Um, I like the inside of it, so. We're gonna take a look at it. I'm gonna finish reading it as I did put it on my Instagram. It says, Who needs a hug? That's how the inside looks. We're gonna start reading. It's about Dory the fish. Are you like super familiar with this? It says, Dory darts across the sand seafloor in front of her parents' home in Morrow Bay. She sees a purple shell that tosses in high over her head. Dory smiles. Oh, here's a purple shell. I like shells and mom loves purple ones, she says. It says Dory's friends, Jenny and Charlie, swim out for their home to meet Dory. It's our last day in Morrow Bay, signs Jenny. Hope our new mom will have lots of purple shells. Dory can't wait to show off the reef in their coral cave with the, her mom and dad, and they can't wait to move in. Jenny looks lovingly at Dory and Charlie. I'm so happy we're together, says Jenny. I think I need a hug. A great big family hug. Dory, Charlie, and Jenny snuggle up to one another. Dory feels safe, warm, and loved. You know, who is? gives great hugs? Dory has Nemo, I wonder what he's up to. I'm going to go find him. Dory swims off into the bay to find Nemo. Don't go too far. Kel Cake. Charlie calls. Dory swims through the dark green kelp. She spices Nemo playing hide and seek with some new friends. For you found a Fish calls out Nemo and and your fish floats down to the sea bed. Oh no, cries Nemo laughing. We're doomed. Ah, the tree young fish collapse on the sea floor, giggling. He's what's wrong with? Hey, what's wrong with your fin? The angel fish asks Nemo. It's so thin, Nemo looks at his fin. He doesn't think it looks wrong. Dory swims down for the kelp that thin fin took. Nemo across the entire Pacific Ocean. She says, Pauline, he's one of the best swimmers I know. I think you need a hug, super duper swimmer. Dory says she gives Nemo a squeeze. Air not as tight, says Nemo, a little embrace. Embarrassed. Come play with us, Dory, Nemo says. When Dory lets him go, you're it. So start counting. Dory starts to count, but soon she 
collecting some shells and counts them so she pops into a giant stalk of kelp and sees something wiggling near the surface. Dory swims closer to get a better look. She spots a small ball of fur looking down on her. Well, hello there, Fur says to the ball. A fur. wait for Dory to find them. Then wait and wait and wait. I think Dory forgot about us, Nemo says. We should go find her. The three fish swim out from their hidden spot. Then find Dory, start up at some thing in the kelp. Look at the kelp. Look, it's a Baby Otter says they're angelfish, so he's so cute, says the parrotfish. I just want to give him a hug. Yay! Another player shouts Nemo, let's hide. Don't forget, Dory, you need to look for us. What's well, a parrotfish here? I think it's that one. Nemo and his friends swim out again. The other pumps goes out of the seaweed. He dives and splashes in the water. He can't wait to hide. Dory begins to count. 10, 9, 8, 12, 11, 10, 3, 2, 1. Ready or not, here I come. Dory darts this way and that way. She finds Nemo. Because hiding in a group of sea orchards? She finds an angelfish and a parrotfish. They hide behind some rocks. It's my turn. It's my turn to hide. Dory shouts. Nemo looks around. But there's the other. He asks, did you find him? Oh, that's cute little brown ball of fur. Well, oh no, Dory admits. But he found the best hiding six spot. The angelfish whispers to the parrotfish. and look but can't find him anywhere he's lost lost cries the parrot fish if he loves you can't find him Dory Nemo says when I was lost you helped my dad find me you never gave up you can count on me says Dory she does up to find the other Nemo and his friends race after her Says this one under a tall red boy. Not there, says Dory. This one around a large gray rock. Nope, says Nemo. Not there either. Then Dory spots something up. Ahead, look over there. That looks like an udder, he shouts. Swims this way. But it's not. The little other, it's Destiny and Bailey in there. Up ahead as Destiny, I don't want to crash. Ah, uh, right behind you, says Bailey. <laughs> there are no walls in the sea ocean. Destiny suddenly dumps into something soft and squishy. A cloud of black ink appears in the water. Oh no! Gasping Bailey, it's... and some rocks. Destiny swims up to comfort him. I'm sorry, Hank, whispers Destiny. I didn't mean to scare you. Do you need a hug? Me? Hug? Nah. Grumbles Hank. He pushes Destiny away. Then he sees everybody staring at him. What are you all looking at? He asks. Hank worries about looking silly. Explains him all, but suddenly happens to call. Oh. 
I get a little embarrassed when I bump into things amidst destiny. I'm not a great swimmer. Yes, you are, Dory. Assures her friend. Aw, thank you, Destiny says. Let's go, says Nemo. We need to find the other and get him safely back home before the, his parents worry. Can I help? as Destiny. Ah, uh, me too. Shouts Bailey. Dory asks Bailey to use his echolocation to help find the other. Bailey puts his flippers on his head. Oh, I think it's working, he says. He's the kelp forest. Go straight and then left. Excellent work, Bailey. Sorry, Dory gives his flip was a quick squeeze. Even Hank agrees to help look. I think I found the other over the here. He calls to his friends. And there he is, sounds asleep on the kelp bed. He says, Oh, sign sorry, poor little guy. Probably got tired of waiting to be found and fell asleep. He whispers to the others, Pup, your parents must be worried about you. Let's get a back home. Dory turns to Destiny. Destiny places him on his head. She says, Destiny lifts the sleeping other out of the water. Super cute. This is Destiny. That's Nemo. That's Bailey, right? That's Hank. That's a parrot fish. I don't know what he is. I know that story. Billy swims ahead to guide Destiny as she carries the other pop closer to shore. Go right, then left. Destiny Billy calls out as he moves around a rock. Others are everywhere. Some are crashing, chasing one another in the water. Some are diving for food. A few are dosing on their backs. The family starts to wake up to the other pub. He yawns, rub his hairy face and looks around. He squirrels and jumps into the water and Dory sees two others waving from the rock. Those must be his parents, she says. The little otter and his parents have a huge otter family. He misses their otter pups. They squeeze tight and tight. Otter. They can't hug them enough. Moments later, the sun begins to set over the bay. All the otters move in closer and closer one by one. They place their arms around one another. They begin to hug. It's a giant cuddle party. Dory and his friends gather together. Charlie, Jenny, and Marlon come up beside them. That's one big happy family, says Hank. Dory signs she remembers how much she loves his friends and family. I think I need a hug, she says. Everyone, even Hank, gathers around Dory. They place their fins, flippers, and arms around her for a big hug. Thank you so guys, so much, guys. You have made it to the end of this book. It says Dory loves their friends and family. She loves to hug, too. Hugs too. She wants to show all of their friends and family that she loves and cares about for them. It is important to treat friends and family with kindness, concern, and love. There are lots of ways to show others that we care about them. Read this book to find out how Dory and her friends show kindness to one another. doing some behind the scenes guys i wanted to do one like this it says there's in a bed i'm gonna go reading i don't know how many books i read but at this point i'm gonna go edit i'm changing some of my editing so
software and things like that, so I'm transitioning a lot out of my things. Ran for about 30 minutes, apparently. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and read this is there's any band. And this is behind the scenes, so keep that in mind. Bears in a band. Bears in a band. Now we some mixes on the chair. And a band. Where are the bears? Says, hey, they came, you say, hurry. Each bird chooses something to play. Yo, bears like a bow on a string. He makes them dance. Ding a ding ding. Whoa, lovely bear pounds a shiny red drum. It's a bomb tip. Bomb. Baboom, bum. It's a bit a golden horn for Calico. Tully, too fast and slow. Pussy likes to crash. And bang, she picks a climb bomb. Clang, clang, clang. The bears all play a noisy song. They don't care if they notes are wrong. This snore, it's someone sleeping, big brown bear. Will he hear a the band prepare? It says that drumbeat bangs, the music leaps, the noise rolls in where big bear sleeps. Um, it says big bear sits up, he falls. What's going on? The big bear calls. Pom pom. Ring a ding. That's not music. Ding a song. The big bear rushes into the room. The racket stops with a small kaboom. Look, he picks up the Blade. Is the big bear mad? Now he's grinding. The big bear. Glad. He joins the others on dancing feet with his blade. About Tom setting the beat. Says softer on the drums, the lady moves. So, louder on the bells, see the blade go. When Big Brown Bear leads the little bear bang, they all play together. And the harmony is grand. A rip of bells, a drum roll, and now the music bear shares an eggplant. Wow. This is super cute. We have an incident. Thank you so much, guys, for saying to me. There's more books with bears. Bears in a birthday. Bears in a bed. Bears in a bath. Bears on a chair. Another way to climb a tree. I already read this one on my other video. I don't know. To editing it, I don't like how it looks. So I'm just going to reread it. It says another way to climb a tree. It says, Lulu climbs the tallest tree in the neighborhood. I think it's really pretty as I go, so I you like it. It says, the one with the whitest branch. The biggest knot and the thickest sap. The legs are sap on the tree. It says, Lulu climbs the trees that mm, trap a cat. And it's super cute. And the trees that catch kites. And the trees that other kids won't climb. Lulu even climbs the trees other kids fall out of. That was cute. 
when Lulu sees a climbing tree, he's here. Oh, look at this tree. Look at Lulu. And then she's gone, just like that. When Lulu sick, the birds miss her, so do the branches. I like how this tree look i like how this book looks it says when lulu's sick she looks outside of her window and the trees miss her and this really pretty and she misses them right back lulu goes pale and quiet the birds stop singing and the branches bend nobody climbs the trees but the sun bit by bright warm bit Says Lulu's jealous. The sun spends nearly whole day there, climbing and reaching and resting. She has the chicken pox, and then at night the moon does the very same thing. Look, Lulu, Lulu turns her back and the bright branches but there there is wait on her wall the tallest whitest biggest tree of all cute and Lulu with her fingertips climbs the tree bit the bright warm bit whoops it says she reaches and swings and twists and hides. She's here. And then she's gone, just like that. Thank you so much. You have made it to the end of this book. Remember to stay tuned in my comments. And... Like I mentioned, I'm going to be doing longer books at a point and just putting and addressing every book individually in another video if you want to prefer to watch those over the whole video or just want to rewatch one of them more than the other. So it's going to be happening. Please do comment on ideas, thanks to likes and likes about the books. I really enjoy your opinions and I'm just looking forward to my website as much as all the other channels that I'm doing. So thank you so much. There's usually a daily update as much as when I get everything going and really pretty. That's something that I feel like I'm gonna enjoy doing. It will be the longer video and then I'll just be transitioning into individual videos. If you want to go and just replay one of them rather than the whole thing. If you just want to see one more than the other. Thank you so much. Because tonight you are my baby. Mary's Christmas gifts. This is Christmas gift. Oh my god, that's super cute. Do you think that's cute, guys? I need to get... Oh, cute. Do I get pictures? Yes or no? We should add questions like this, and you should always answer them, because you might like them. It says, You are my beautiful gift from God above, and to have I give a mother forever love. In the moments I feel what all mothers know, to hold you close and never had to let go, you will be king. Oh my god, super cool. It says, but tonight, you are my baby. It says, I marvel at the back of the one class night. That's very cool, but this is the carpenter's wife. It says, I always chose to hold you so close and warm right here with me and I'm one snug in the barn. Mm. I have been liking the animals on Instagram. This so one she likes on the boats. It says, I pray for strength as all mothers sometimes do, and I try to understand what will be asked of you. I look for answers. <laughs> the crystal chilly night, but only see the one star, which is so very bright. This star will bring the others, and I will start to share. Be tonight, you made you or mine to get. That's super cute. Super cute. I 
can't turn the page. Oh. I'm sorry. It says tomorrow you will be king, but tonight you are my baby. What do you think? I like that. Do you like how that sounds? I do. Says, I cradle to be gently, the answer is quite clear. Strength comes from you, my baby, in my arms right here. For God blesses me with cloudy winter night. As I am the first to see that you are that light. Super cute, super cute. Seeing cute animals. This is a gun. Okay. Oh my gosh, you like my soon as you comment below. Don't have my Twitter working. Should we talk about it now? I'm just so deep. Because I missed your tiny fingers and little perfect hands the way you and my my husband being sure that tonight will be bed. It's cute. It says, I swallowed you in the closet when I see you in the hay. The sheep and cows are calm as I bow my hair at the bay. Super cute. It says, the precious donkeys that Donna sang here nestled you so softly. Sing God's is here. Hmm, I think they're donkeys. I can't turn the page, it's just, you know. It says the angels, or it doesn't say that. You guys heard that the angels blow their trumpets from above the celebrate where the burst and battle you in their love. It says tomorrow upon you will be king, but tonight you are my baby. Okay, it says peace and what is it? Salvation you will bring to all mankind when others see you are God's glory sign. Among all the people there will be great joy upon hearing of you, my dear little boy. It's super cute. I like a very exotic animal here. And there's some sheep that are cute. Don't like the sun, like the black and sun. It says some will make the journey across the desert to bring the gifts of God. They carry to their hands and others will bring music a simple song to play but that is not tonight it is to be another day tomorrow you will be king but tonight you're my baby i says tomorrow you will be king but tonight you're my baby so we can if you're a fan of this book, and want to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Good night. Say it, say it, say it. Okay, good night. Um, I'm reading this book. I think it looks cute, so we're going to be reading it. Took my time. I don't know how long it was. To get me a good pick of books, because I don't like the movies, and sometimes it's really hard. It's actually funny, so. Okay, what are you guys? Some are really. The other one I didn't, so I was actually, it actually took a really good time taking some out. Um, I got a cue from the back and front. Another direction, so I thought it looked nice for it. So I'm actually having a hard time getting to the ground with some pictures. I don't know what to say because I had a couple of things in my head. I posted some things on my Instagram. I don't know how the books actually got on my computer. I don't know. I don't know. So we're gonna be reading this book. I think it's good. I feel like we'll be editing right away because I really want to. I says, how do you say the night? My pop how do you say the night? I don't know how to say the night. I don't see that place. 
It says, with the stretch angel, John, close my eyes until you don't. That's how I say goodnight. So cute. So cute. So cute. I think it's super cute. I thought it was super cute. Then I need to find the book. So pretty. Oh my god, look, has a book there. It has a little hippo there. A little backpack or his little tights. Cute. Cute, cute. How do you say goodnight? This is different. How do you say goodnight? This one is super cute. It says with a kiss and a sign of a sweet lady. That's how I say goodnight. How do you say goodnight, little lamb? How do you say goodnight? Mm, that's my flip sheet. Actually, has like a counseling. So I open it over there. It's actually sort of burning a little pig. There's Woody Cuddle and a hug in my blanket. So it's not, that's how I said goodnight. Mm, super cute. How do you say goodnight? You can. How do I say goodnight? I said soft pajamas, soft white, soft pillows, just right. That's how I say goodnight. Mm, don't know that. I have my cord here something. She's cute. That's super cute. It says, how do you say goodnight? Sweet Dublin, how do I say goodnight? That's cute. In my bed, I'm clean, warm, and say, time to dream. That's how I say goodnight. It says, how do you says, you know how I say goodnight, my baby? Know how I say goodnight? There are little pets, this night nice sweet corn. And there's the bank of girl there. It says tuck in snug and tight kiss. Your cheeks turn off the light. It's super cute. This is pretty. Mm. That's how I say goodnight, my love. That's how I say goodnight. Okay. What do you think about this book? I thought it was a really nice book. I think it looks cute. Um, I like the creative. Do you read that one behind it? It says, how do you say when I say when I click that? Didn't think I was going to be about that. Enjoy reading it. Thank you so much for staying to the end. That was really cute. We have some combinations. We're going to go ahead and go to our next book. Oh guys, my nose up shut, but I don't have this book, I don't think I've submitted it in, so I'm gonna go ahead and read it for you. It's gonna be in this week simply because my video is a little bit short. Um once finished, but now I said there it says I can't trust myself. Do I read this book last time I read it? So we're gonna just go ahead and actually look through it. Apparently it's a bunny and I wanna see it says for Neil and Regina. I think it's cute because it's boring with this story. Mm, I don't really know what it says. It was a beautiful day, just right for a trip to the park. Come on, Daisy, mother is sad. I hope you get dressed and then we can go to the playground. Yay, answered Daisy. Try bringing Rudy too. But I don't need help. I can dress myself. I think this is super cute in that respect. Um, and so we're going to start actually looking at it. I really enjoyed the lesson that I read it. Um, read a couple times. I couldn't get the video in. I didn't like how it looked. So we're going to go ahead and try. Um, so it's kind of cute. I love the print with the colors of my nose. I think I'm going bad. But you are me. Um, it says, Daisy knew exactly what she wanted to wear her favorite Bobby summer dress. Now Daisy, that dress is too thin. It's a little chilly outside. Said mother, her voice sounded very firm. Daisy knew there was no point in arguing with her. Okay. I enjoyed some of the colors in this. I thought it was really pretty. It says, why don't you want to wear your red overalls? They look so cute on you. Said mother, no thanks. I'll dress myself. Could I at least help you find something? 
As a mother, no thanks for the will you help me send Daisy something very far myself. But I knew there was no point in arguing with her. Oh my gosh. I really enjoyed the color of this and I like you so much. So please do comment below here's Rudy. Just looking at how bad it has Daisy and Rudy looked in the closet. I wear the purple dress, my pink purse will match beautiful decided Daisy. I says no, good Rudy, I hate the purple. It's a disgusting color. She whined, don't you have any orange clothes? I love orange. Don't really get this. I don't think it's kind of okay, I guess. Mm. I thought this picture was really cute. It says, Daisy thought of her orange shirt sweatshirt. Mother, where's my orange sweatshirt with? The white polka dot, she shouted. That's wet and hanging outside. The clothesline, call mother. It says, why don't you wear your green checkered pants? Green is a lovely color, suggested Rudy. It says, because they don't fit anymore, said Daisy. Rudy incited that she, she tried them on. But Daisy was right. They were really much too small. Too bad, said Rudy. was disappointed. She looked. She liked checks. <laughs> on this fashion but we guess they're going to the park i knew i'll wear my blue striped pants said daisy slipping them on they're much too big said rudy and she was right daisy had another idea that blue sweater that grandma had knit for her would be perfect <laughs> i think it's kind of i don't know it says when she could find it she ran inside the kitchen to her mother sweetheart the blue sweater is at grandma's home she was going to mend it for you, said mother, whose voice was starting to sound a little cracky. Uh, what is it, man? I guess it just means that she's fixing it for her. I love the patterns on this thing, kind of cute, super cute. It says, why don't you just put on your beige jacket, said mother, and push on the things I dress myself, said Daisy, slamming her door. And really, now mother, what's mad? Well, hurry up. You have one more minute if you want to dress, said mother. But Rudy can't decide what she wanted to wear. Mm, said mother. If Rudy can make up her mind, then she'll have to stay at home. And that's that. And guess what she's wearing? So if you heard mother Rudy and Daisy from me, you're going to put on your green pants right now. Otherwise, you're not coming to the playground. And what's that? Daisy grabbed her bucket. We're both dressed mother, she said. And they all went to the playground. Mm, super cute. Apparently, she's at the playground. Playing with Rudy. I enjoy the sense of this. Um, I would say bug. It kind of reminds me of SpongeBob right now because of the flowers on the side, and it's like another color thing. But it kind of reminded me of that. Uh, apparently, she wanted her Daisy to wear the carrot shirt, and then her checkered pants. Apparently, they don't fit. Apparently, she's super super cute. Um, there's a pink shirt with the pants. Can I just myself? This is the beginning of the bug. I thought this was cute. I'd be behind it. I can't. Some of what you can do.